AI agents is the biggest opportunity of 2025. Agents are the thing everyone is talking about. Hundreds of millions and billions of different AI agents. One of the most important things that's happening in the world of enterprise is agentic AI. And you must be seeing it already everywhere on social media, in news and in startup space as well. Hi everyone, my name is Saravjit and in this video, I'm going to tell you what is AI agent, how you can make your own AI agent, what tools are available in the market to build the AI agents. So let's get started. Let's first talk about what is AI agent. Simply put, AI agents are like an assistant who do your work on your behalf, which is finding plan of action to execute the task that you assign to them and execute them automatically without you intervene in the middle. Tasks like you do every day, for example, booking a cab, ordering groceries, ordering food, or buy your own clothes. Now let's look at the tools available for creating AI agents and automations. The first tool or one of the first tool is Make. And I have to tell you the Make is generally speaking a great platform, but we also have some downsides. We are not able to create complete AI agents. We are able to make automations. We are also able to make AI automations, but we are restricted with agents and we need to pay for this tool sooner or later. Then we have N89 and N89 is I think one of the best platform out there and this is gigantic. We can build everything, automations, AI automations, AI agents and it is also completely open source. We can find out the source code on GitHub and we can install it locally and also use it for free. We have also the option to host it but I think N89 is one of the best tool out there. And that's why this tool is also exploded in popularity over the last months. Like I said, I think N8N is one of the best tools and we will have a strong focus on N8N in this course. Then we also have Langchain. Langchain, we, Langchain is one of the original tools. We can also use Langchain in Python. The Langchain ecosystem is really, really big and they work with a lot of different companies. Under the Langchain ecosystem, we have more. We have, for example, Langgraph. And Langgraph is also able to create AI agents. And with Langgraph, it's also got a little bit easier because we can also work visually. Beside that, we have also Langflow. Langflow is basically built on top of Langgraph. It works in Python and you can do a lot. If you want to work with the Lang Langchain ecosystem, we should use Flowwise. Flowwise is a really great tool. We have a drag and drop interface. We can do nearly everything. And in the background, it works on Langgraph only. And at the end of this course, we will also take a few lessons from Flowwise. Uh, we will connect Flowwise also with Anit, Anit N. Then we have Autogen. Autogen comes from Microsoft. We are not really able to make automations. This is just for AI agents. I think Autogen is a little bit hard to use and I do not like it that much but nonetheless i want to tell you that autogen is here and if you want to go to github profile you see that autogen is also open source and you find also the whole installation and if you scroll down a little more you can also find some courses about autogen that are completely for free if you want to take them then we have crew ai crew ai was one of the most popular tools a few months back now but i think aniton stole the spotlight Beside that, we have Swarm. Swarm comes from OpenAI directly. It has some stars on GitHub because it's open source, but I think Swarm, is, it lacks a little bit of feature. It's not perfect. I just want to bring it up because it's come from OpenAI. Beside that, we have Agency Swarm. Agency Swarm is specifically for AI agents. You need to work with Python. It's a little bit complicated to use. It's a highly customizable. I don't like it personally. If you want to use it, a really, really easy interface. And if you do want to pay for this feature, you can also think about vector shift for a brief moment. Beside vector shift, we also have voice flow. Also, this tool is similar to vector shift. And we also have WordPress. And WordPress is generally speaking also a good platform. But WordPress is really, really expensive. WordPress is really easy to work. But if you come to the pricing, let's go to the pricing page. You see right here, if you use a Teams plan, you need to pay for $45 a month. I think this is like completely over the top. 
and that's why I love N810 so much. So that's it. Basically, I just want to show you what are the tools available in the market to create the AI agents and automations. And N810 is basically the champion from all of them. Crew AI is also very best, but like recently N810 have so many features and it is open source. That's why it is attracting so many attention from the market. So in the upcoming videos, we'll explore more about this tool. We we'll dive into the tool and we we'll see how to create AI agents of our own.